Well, hi folks, this is Jason Holton from www.gamebeat.net and www.noxtech.com and the YouTube channel noxtech.com, N O X T E K D O T C O M. And today I am going to rebuild our home theater PC. So let's get underway. Uh, you guys might have seen in my video the other day, here are my newest toys. Cheap toys, but toys nonetheless. Uh, this will be the result of a uh, $49.99 before rebate, Fry's Electronics CPU and motherboard combo deal. We have an Intel dual core Celeron E3300, which is basically a Core 2 Duo, uh, 45 nanometer uh, Wolfdale core, I believe it's Wolfdale. Uh, with only 512 meg, meg cache per core instead of the normal 1 meg or 2 meg cache you would see on a Core 2 Duo branded processor. So that's why this one's a Celeron. Now, uh, this is actually a wolf in sheep's clothing because for a CPU that costs about $50, you can buy this CPU from Newegg, from Fry's for $49.99. Uh, this happened to be a weekend deal, so it came with a cheap old motherboard. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, the great thing about this CPU is that even though it only has 512 meg of cache per core, which is 1 meg of cache total, uh, the cache amount really doesn't make that much difference uh, as far as gaming and everyday performance wise. Uh, even with... Uh, applications such as video editing and and CPU intensive applications the performance difference between a processor with 512 megs of cache per core and say one or two megs of cache per core is quite minimal so the CPU is a great value at four, 50 bucks uh, one of the other things that makes this CPU a great value especially for enthusiasts is both its high stock speed which is uh, 2.5 gigahertz. I believe that is a on an 800 megahertz front side bus, which is 200 megahertz uh, quad pumped, uh, and with a 12.5 times multiplier right out of the box. What does that high multiplier mean? Well, that high multiplier means with just a little bump in front side bus speed, you can really, really overclock the hell out of this CPU. In fact, I am hearing stories that uh, routinely on stock voltage, which would, should be perfect for this board because I doubt it has CPU voltage adjustment, uh, on stock voltage, you can make a little bump to the CPU uh, front side bus speed uh, to uh, say from 200 megahertz to 233, and that instantly, because of the high multiplier, upgrades the speed on this CPU to something like uh, I think it's 3.2 gigahertz uh, just with a little bitty bump in front side bus speed so that's pretty impressive and that's not even bumping the voltage with core voltage bumps you can get this CPU over 4 gigahertz uh, and of course with the appropriate cooling um, but right out of the box with the dinky CPU cooler that it comes with uh, uh, 3.2 gigahertz with that 233 megahertz uh, front side bus speed is an easy pretty much free overclock uh, really impressive so uh, what else do we have here we have this is the free motherboard that came with the fries combo this is an uh, Biostar G41-M7 it's basically an Intel G41 chipset uh, with Intel onboard video and uh, it's a you know, basically supports any 45 nanometer CPU, even the quad cores. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't expect a lot of overclocking with the quad cores uh, because the power regulation circuitry on this board is not all that great. With that being said, it does have a three year manufacturer's warranty, which is an improvement over the ECS boards that Fry's used to carry in their, their uh, cheapy combos. Uh, it has usual complement. Uh, USB 2.0, four serial ATA 3.0 port, or serial ATA 2.0 ports. Um, 
open the box here come with a uh, serial ATA cable that's always nice an, a an ATA cable uh, CPU back plane vented CPU back plane uh, user manual very minimalistic but it's in color which is nice it's actually a fold out looks like a fold out deal uh, driver CD and here's the board itself uh, let me take it out of the package now here you can take a quick look at the board itself it's nothing too special there's the north bridge or actually the only, well, actually, yeah the north bridge heat sink uh, underneath that is the G41 chipset south bridge heat sink underneath there's the other the south bridge uh, we have as you can see not two which you would expect on a minimalist board like this uh, but four serial ATA uh, 2.0 ports um, I do not believe there is RAID support on this board I wouldn't expect it for a board that retails for like 40 bucks um, you have one uh, parallel ATA port which is standard for every motherboard these days parallel ATA is being phased out and really the only reason you should need one is if you have a really old hard drive or in a lot of cases people are still hanging on to parallel ATA optical drives so but it's nice to have the option there should you need it 24 pin ATX power connector two DDR2 memory slots supporting uh, up to uh, 1333 megahertz chips um, there's our CPU socket LGA 775 uh, somewhere over here we have our uh, there it is our four pin EPS 12 volt auxiliary power connector for the CPU this provides power to the CPU uh, without that plugged in your board will not boot in most cases uh, as you can see the power regulation circuitry is a meager what looks like a three phase power regulation circuitry um, again this is a very very low end board this board came free with a CPU combo so that ought to tell you something so you know uh, I can say that at least it has for the most part uh, solid capacitors which are good uh, for the CPU power regulation circuitry there's some solid capacitors here for the that I'm sure are dedicated to the PCIe slot this is a full time 16 PCIe 2.0 slot uh, we have two PCI slots we have a floppy connector we have our, on, our front panel connectors we have USB 2.0 connectors and we have one uh, two uh, fan connectors one of those obviously will be for the CPU this can be for a chassis fan or Northbridge fan or whatever you want to use it for and we have various uh, and sundry connectors like audio and and it, whatnot uh, taking a look at the back plane you can see that that it's fairly plain Jane minimalistic again this is a cheap board so we have PS2 keyboard and mouse ports we have onboard video which uh, can be negated by using a you have a time uh, 16 PCIe 2.0 slot the onboard video I believe is Intel I think it's x1400 or whatever their uh, naming convention is it's basic basic DirectX 10 uh, level graphics so that gives you support for uh, the Windows Vista and Windows 7 Aero Glass interface and very very minimalistic 3D support very very old 3D games you could get to run we have 1, 2, 3, 4 USB 2.0 ports on the back we have a standard 10100 Ethernet this is not gigabit uh, again this is a cheap board so I wouldn't expect gigabit uh, and then we have uh, six channel audio you can use these three ports either for uh, speakers or you can use it in a 2.1 configuration where you have a uh, uh, headphone or speaker jack you have a microphone input jack down here and you have a standard input jack a line level input jack up here these are basically flexi jacks so you can use them however you want um, and there we have it no frills but hopefully it works uh, again for